Hey guys, what you're about to see in this video is for educational purposes only. Please don't do anything stupid or illegal. I'm not going to be responsible for your actions. Thank you. Hi everyone, and welcome to this Vera Crypt tutorial. Today we're going to encrypt a non-system partition. First I'm going to plug in my flash drive. I'm going to go to this PC. And there it is, a flash drive under the letter E. Double click and we're in. Now again I'm going to create a volume. This time I'm going to select a second option, which is encrypt a non-system partition or drive. Hit next and give Veracrypt admin permissions. Again I have the option to create a standard or a hidden volume. I'm going to leave the default and hit next again. And now I need to choose the location, or in our case, the device that we want to encrypt. I'm going to hit select device, and choose from the list the flash drive that I just entered. Hit OK, and next. Now here I have two options. If I already have important files on this flash drive, I would want to choose a second option, which is encrypt partition in place. However, this drive is empty, and I want to start fresh. So I'm going to choose create encrypted volume and format it. As a side note, I recommend to back up your files before creating this encryption. Once you make sure everything is fine, you can copy your files to the encrypted drive. I'm going to hit next. And again, I have the encryption options, which I'm going to leave at default and hit next again. And there's no real option here to choose a size because we're encrypting the entire flash drive. So I'm going to hit next again. I'm going to put in a simple password as before. Skip the warning. Now Veracrypt is going to ask me if I intend to store large files on this drive. It does this because it needs to choose a file system for me. I'm going to hit yes so I can have the option in the future. Hit next. And just as before Veracrypt will begin to format the drive. Now I'm going to skip this forward but keep in mind it took 24 minutes to encrypt this 8GB flash drive. I'm going to get this warning here telling me how to use this flash drive from now on. I'm going to skip it and we'll see what it's like ourselves. Hit OK. And exit. Now as you can see, if I go back to this PC, I can still see flash drive E. But note that Windows can't access it, can't read it, and I can't even get a metadata read on it. If I'll try to double click it, Windows will tell me that something is wrong and ask me to format the disk. Of course, I know why the disk is inaccessible to Windows, so I'm just going to skip it. What I am going to do is go back to Veracrypt and select the device. Again, choose the flash drive, hit OK, assign it to letter A, mount it, put in the password, and once I hit OK, I can go back to this PC, and I have local disk A. As you can see, I still have flash drive E, but I can't access it. I can't access local disk A, which is the virtual mounted disk based on the flash drive. And again, this is like any other folder, no different than any other Windows folder, a zip folder, or the container we created in a previous video. I'm going to click out and dismount all. Go back to this PC and I still have the flash drive under letter E that I can't use because it's encrypted. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. For more news and updates, visit TomBH.com. See you next time.